Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Lightning 100's Holiday Hops. This is where uh, yours truly, Jason, and our buddy Matt Left from Rhizome Productions, we're going to kind of give you a heads up on uh, some seasonal beers that can uh, that are available here in Middle Tennessee that can help you enjoy this uh, holiday season. It's made possible by Matt and the great folks out at Rhizome Productions, as well as our friends at Lippman Brothers. How are you doing today, Matt? I'm doing good. Halfway through the week. And we're on our sort of international tour of amazing beer. So we, uh, we started on Monday in Germany. We hit Belgium and England on Tuesday. And uh, for Wednesday, we're going to go to Germany. How's that sound? That sounds good. And I'm looking at this bot. Is this come as, actually comes with an ornament? Is that it it comes with a little ornament. I guess you could put it on your, uh, your Christmas tree or your Hanukkah bush, whatever you got. Okay. Um, so Eyinger is, is a, an amazing brewery in Bavaria, region of Germany. Um, and this is their their Doppelbach. It's a beer that is one of my all time favorites. If you've never had it before, I'm sorry for you. But today's the day. We're gonna drink it together. They've been making beer since 1878. Do you see the trend here, Jason? By the way, I think every brewery we've had beer from so far has been around since like the 1800s. So, which means they know what they're doing and they're sticking with it. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So, for anybody who's unfamiliar, this is the Einger Celebrator Doppelbach. If you're watching the video, you're seeing the cool little bottle and it comes with like jason said a little ornament um this is a this is a double bock that's what doppel bock means uh of course let's go ahead and pour ourselves a little bit most important is that we taste it and share with everybody the deliciousness so um you know do- doppel box as you'll see they're a dark beer they're very complex a lot of different flavors coming from them uh you know at first you're going to get some of the rich dark notes sort of toffee caramel maybe even a little bit of chocolate notes um, and then you're going to get the balance from the hops. There's hops in this beer, uh, as all beer. Um, and it has a semi-dry finish, so it's it's not going to be over the top. But let's give it a taste. Ah, so to, such a great beer. That's the best double block I've ever had. Yep, no doubt about it. 6.7% ABV. Um, and, you know, as we said, you know, a lot of the beers that we wanted to pick out were ones that you can bring as gifts to a holiday meal. Maybe you want to, you know, have it at your table as you celebrate. Um, and I can tell you from experience, this goes great if you're doing duck for any of the holidays that's coming up or even turkey. Uh, it's a really great pairing. Anything that's got sort of umami richness flavors, it's going to go really well. Or if you're going to end the night maybe with even a cigar, you can't go wrong. And, and one of the important things I should say with this beer and many of the beers we're going to talk about this week is you don't want to take them right out of the fridge and drink them. You do want to let them warm up for a couple minutes on the counter. And it really allows those flavors to shine. If they're too cold, you're going to not, you're not going to really taste everything. So keep that in mind when you're drinking some of these imported beers, they really need a little bit of time to sort of open up uh, and not be super cold. If you pull them right out of the fridge, too cold. So average, you're saying like two, three minutes right about there. I would say like at least 10, 10. Okay. Yeah, maybe 10 minutes on the counter, you know, closed. Just take it out, let it warm up a little bit, pour it into a nice glass. Don't put it in, you know, like your water cup or a plastic cup. Put it in a good glass and really enjoy these. If you have nice, you know, wine glassware, that works really great as a beer glass. Um, And this is a beer that you'll find definitely as well at at our, you know, our beer retailers around town. It's not a supermarket beer. It comes in 11.2 ounce four pack bottles. And again, it comes in at 6.7% alcohol so it is a a big one you may not want to drink three or four of these maybe one or two (laughs) right but uh delicious nonetheless and uh, letting it sit uh, when you pull it out of the fridge letting it sit for about 10 minutes where else are you going to get that knowledge except for our buddy matt left right here on holiday hops on lightning 100 that's that's what i'm saying so uh yeah this is a great one man so i agree you said this is the best double box this is your all-time favorite double box box that's definitely out there i mean they're they are not the most popular style. You do see some breweries in the United States that are still making them. Obviously, most of the German breweries that are in the Bavarian region uh, produce Doppelbox. So there are a handful out there, but I would say that the Eyinger Celebrator is definitely one of the best. So we're very lucky to be able to get it here in the United States and, of course, here in Nashville, thanks to our friends at Lippin Brothers. There you have it. And it comes with an ornament. You can see that on the video if you're watching at lightning100.com slash holiday hops. That's where you can watch any of our segments on demand. If you're listening uh, here in the morning time, we will re-air this here on Lightning 100 coming up at 630 this evening. But again, uh, this and all of our holiday hop segments available on demand for you to watch and 
listen to at your leisure, lightning100.com slash holiday hops. That's going to wrap up this edition. Big thanks again to you, Matt, and everybody at Rhizome Productions and the great folks at Lippman Brothers for making it possible. And we'll do it again tomorrow. And until then, cheers. Roast. <laughs>